In this tutorial, we will be making a fabric block that can't be picked up by hand and is broken by hose. Open up your development environment for your mod. If you don't have one yet, click the eye icon or the link in the description to learn how to make one. First, we need to make a class to represent our block. I'll create it in the same package as the rest of the classes. I've named mine fabricblock.java. You can create a package to store all of your blocks if you have a lot of them. In this class, add the package declaration and class header, then add extends block. Import block. Let's create the constructor for our class. Write public, then the class name with parentheses, then add braces at the end. In the constructor, we will call the blocks constructor by writing super. We'll use fabrics block settings by writing fabric block settings, and then we will call the of method which when given a material, we use it as the basis to construct your block. I use the material.wool. With the block properties, we can set a lot of settings of our block. If you want your block to have all the properties of another block, then you can use the copy method and send it a block instance, such as block.stone. Now, let's begin choosing the block settings. Take for example, that we want nothing to drop when the player breaks the block with their hand. We can call the dot break by hand false method in order for us to actually get the block drop, we must add tools that can break the block. We can add effect tools by calling .breakbyTool, then sending it fabrictoolstags.hose, which will allow the player to break the fabric block with any of the hose. Import that. Each level of the hose is already set up to be more effective than the last, so we don't have to do anything. We can choose the sound group, which includes the sounds that will play when placing, stepping, and breaking our block. To assign the sound group called dot sound, sound groups dot with the block that you want to get the sounds from. I'll be making a tutorial on how to create custom sound groups later. Now we want to choose how long it takes to break the block and how impenetrable it is to TNT. To make the block time take longer, call the hardness method and send it a float. To compare it to other blocks, you can look up their hardness on the Minecraft wiki. Our fabric block is pretty weak when it comes to explosions, so I'll call the dot resistance method and send it a low float of 0.2. But if you are calling both hardness and resistance, we can use the method dot strength to set both at the same time. Once we are done, call the dot build method. Now we've created our block class. Like we did our items, we must register our block so it's in the game. In our main class, create an instance of our block. Do this by calling public static final block your block name equals new your block class. In the on initialize method call registry.register then registry.block then new identifier which takes your mod ID which is the same one you put in the fabric.json file. Then the block name with underscores now instance of our block. Running the game we can call the method forward slash set block tilde 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 cool mod colon fabric underscore block which will place the block at our feet. This is a very inconvenient way to place our block. We would like our block to be in the creative menu as an item so we can place it down. The creative menu option only has items so we must create an item block for our block. In the oninitialize method call registry.register registry.item because we are adding an item that represents our block then new identifier, which is the same as your blocks identifier, then new block item, then a copy of your block, and then new item.setting.group itemgroup.misc to place it in the miscellaneous tab. Opening the game now, we can see that our block is in the miscellaneous tab, and when we place it down, our block appears. But since it doesn't have a block state, model, or texture, it's just a purple block. So let's add those. The block state determines which block model we should use and where it should be placed. Take for example the lever, which changes models based on the block face it was placed on. Since our block only has one state, block states is pretty easy. Open assets, mod ID, block states, then create a JSON file with your block's name as you put it in the identifier. Inside this file, add open braces, then variants, then inside model, and then mod ID colon block forward slash and then and create a JSON file with your block name. Now, the block state will point to a JSON file for our model. We must create a block folder. The model is the file that decides what the shape is of the block and how the textures are drawn on the model. Open assets, mod ID, models, block, and create the file that matches what you put in the block state file. In this file, we will create a field called parent. 
This field describes where the model should get its base settings from. Since our block is a normal block, we will use block forward slash cube underscore all. Now let's define a texture by adding a textures field. This field has an all field because the cube underscore all file has an all field that needs to be assigned. We will assign it to our texture at mod ID colon block forward slash then block name. Now we will add our texture open assets mod ID textures block. Then place your image file as a PNG here. We need to provide an item model for our block when it's in hand. Open assets mod ID models item. Then create a JSON file with your block name. Add open braces, then parent and set it to mod ID block forward slash then the image file name. This will point to the same image that the block model uses. Launch the game. Success! Our block now has a texture and model and acts exactly how we want. But if you were to break the block in survival mode, nothing would drop because we need to give it a loot table. Open data mod ID loot underscore tables blocks then blocks name. Copy the text in the description. All you need to change is the name field in entries. Set it to mod ID colon block name. Finally, we will give our block a proper name. Open assets mod ID lang and then your lang file. Write the name that is currently in the game and then the proper translation. Now everything should be working. Make sure to send me your awesome looking blocks. If you found this video helpful, smash the subscribe button and chime with the bell. Thanks for watching.